We recently covered a video on how to easily hunt a shiny applin in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Well, today I'm going to share with you a spot where you can get yourself shiny Toxtricity super easy in the game using a very similar method. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So although it is not as easy as the applin method where you can just literally sit and do nothing, it is a pretty easy method to do. What we're going to have to do is head down to Alphanar town which is in this area of your game and toxicity is a very cool pokemon introduced in pokemon scarlet and violet one of the few electric types that we've got in scarlet and violet as well and a pretty nice option if you want to take it into competitive battling and it has a pretty decent shiny it's not super obvious it's not like a garchomp level or a gengar but it is a nice shiny to have and add to your collection and a big fan favorite as well so once we're at alfernada town you want to be heading over to this cave system right here and you want to just head inside so once you're inside the alfernada cavern you just want to follow the route that i'm taking kind of come past this npc character here just down this area and you'll kind of fall off a ledge you'll come past this torch here and it's this system here you want to fall down onto this area right here there'll be two kind of there'll be like a little tiny mini ravine here that you want to head towards and then a drop down and this is where we want to go because we're going to want to head towards the kind of exit of the cave system there'll be another npc character here and you want to follow this path all the way down and then around to the bottom here and you'll see the exit down there and this is how you know you're in the right cavern this is the place where we're going to be doing the method for getting these shinies so once you're here you're kind of in this position here where you can see everything quite clearly you want to just drop a save before you do anything it's always good to do this make sure that your auto saves are off as well before you start making a sandwich but the first thing that you're going to want to do is just set up a picnic and why this is a good area for toxicity in particular because in this cavern it is the only electric type that spawns here so when you put down one of these sparkly level three sandwiches it is going to be the only pokemon that spawns making it very easy it's going to be one of those isolated encounters where you're going to be able to just set up your picnic despawn it and see the new spawns appear and the shiny should just pop in making it a very easy accessible method for you to do shiny hunting now for this you can go into creative mode i will put an overlay on the screen now but there will be a link in the description for all of the most recent sandwich recipes that you can use to get sparkling power level three with that encounter power so for this one because it is electric we want to just go a yellow bell pepper and because for ease for the video i'm going to go salty and a spicy herb and mystica and that is all going to need for getting this encounter power and i know you can use different ingredients and you know mix up the the herb and mystica as well but this is just as i say for ease and if you've got the herb and mystica kind of sitting spare then there's no reason why not to use them because it's just quicker there we go the sparkling power level three electric and encounter power with that title power like i said in our apple video it'd be nice to get the title power but i'm not going to bank on it so literally what you want to do is just stand in this position here you can see here i'll just pan around so you can get a good idea of where we are standing but there is nothing you need to do you just need to stand here all of the toxicity are going to spawn in this middle section here you might get some to the side up on the ridge area but the majority are all just going to spawn in in the center here so you just want to you can either take your camera out if you want to get a closer look at the toxicity to kind of identify which ones are going to be the shinies but you're going to be able to notice them they've got kind of on their panels on their chest are a lot more purple and they're a bit more of a red color so that's what we're looking for i'll put a picture of both the toxicity shiny variants on the screen for you now so you've got a little bit of a reference if you are doing the shiny hunt yourselves so once around 15 or so spawn in that is going to be the limit you're not going to get any more spawning in at this point what you want to do is just set your picnic up simple as that it'll despawn everything that is out in the area at the moment and then you want to just despawn your 
picnic and watch the the Pokemon spawn back in. Again, you can get your camera open as well just to give you a better look at where these are spawning. Just make sure you're taking care at looking for the ones that are just around the edge of this, this big kind of ledge here because sometimes they can hide around there and it can make it a little bit tricky to spot them. But other than that, it is as simple as this. You're going to be able to just sit here and watch these Toxtricity spawn in. And it is a cool shiny to have. I really like Toxtricity and I do know it is a kind of a fan favorite. I don't know if it's something, if you're watching this, if it is something that you like. So hopefully this method is a good method for you to kind of come and just take advantage of to get yourself hopefully both variants because the nice thing about this version is you're going to be able to get both like variants you know you're going to get both forms uh, of toxicity shiny and hopefully you can do it in one shiny sitting as well with one sandwich par like i say once they all stop spawning in just set your picnic up and then despawn it again and if you come through the half an hour and you haven't got a shiny spawned in then that's the reason why we save it so you don't waste your sandwiches you don't waste your herba mystica essentially so you can just reset your game and then start the process again and do another half an hour because you're not guaranteed some people will do this obviously we're all slaves to rng at this point where you might come in and you might get really lucky in the first couple of spawns that you do you get the shiny but it might take a long time for you to actually get the shiny as well even if you've got the shiny charm and you've got the sparkling power added so uh, it will just take a bit of patience but also maybe a little bit of luck as well which can always help with these things and there we go we've got the first shiny of this hunt i as you can see it's kind of like it's not the most obvious but it when you're amongst the rest of the toxicity it's really easy to spot so you can see here it has got that more kind of i guess ready kind of purple hue to it rather than the the more just generic purple that you're going to see so that's the color difference you can see the, the shiny is way more obvious to spot when you've just in a pack of the other ones and like i say it's not on the same level as the gengar and garchomp shinies so there we go that is the first one and i think we've got quite a few a bit of time left it hasn't taken too long to get this first one I'd say maybe 10 minutes but hopefully we can get like i said both variations in this one sandwich we go the nice shiny right let's just have a quick look what we've got left time wise yeah so it's been you know, like 20 minutes okay so it's been a little bit longer i've just been having way more fun but once you've got the first one if you've got time left you can obviously go and do other things hunt other pokemon electric types if you want if you've just got the one you want but you can just make the most of the time that you've got left and try and get another one if that is something that you would like to do obviously getting both variations both forms would be really nice in this so that's what we're going to try and aim for in this one and that is it unfortunately no more shinies for me on this occasion but we did get the one which was really nice to get and it is there the toxicity obviously getting the both forms would have been really nice to get and it's just something else that i'll probably actually try and do at some other point and uh, get both the amped and the low key versions because both are pretty cool in their own respective ways but i'm sure you've got your own favorites which you would prefer to go to so i can see this being a little bit of a headache at times where you're going for one particular form and you kind of keep ending up getting the the other one as a shiny so hopefully if you do try it out you do have some luck with this so that is everything for today's video friends i hope you found it useful and this method to find and go out and get toxicity in its shiny forms really easy that loki and the amped forms are really nice shinies like i said they are a bit subtle but not as subtle as some of the the probably non-obvious shiny pokemon are at least you can spot the difference we had a good example of it in this video as well so have fun with this method if you do try it out let me know down in the comment section below and if you've got your own spots around the paldea region where you've been going and using these isolated shiny hunting methods i'd love to hear the spots and the pokemon that you've been going after so leave a comment down below and uh, i look forward to reading through them thank you so much for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves bye bye